Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO, free impartial advice on all your debt. This is something that comes along every now and then in generation and it's special. This is Coogan Cassis for Eiffel TV in association with MTK Global, Wayne Dunn. One more night to go. I'm joined by, is that what to call you? Are you eccentric? A bit of a maverick? A bit off your head? We're calling McGowan. Genius. Genius. Okay, I'll refer to you that in future interviews. Okay, so feel good. Obviously, you're weighed in now. You and uh, Kieran Conway, obviously, both making the weight today, so it's on for tomorrow. Yeah, uh, <clears throat> yeah, rock and roll. It's ready to go. That's it. Come on. Absolutely. Oh, fucking hell. Wait, I don't know what happened there. We're getting excited now. I don't know. Um, right, okay. You know, obviously, I want to ask you yesterday about yesterday. So, do you want to just kind of run me through what was going on in your brain? Yesterday, when right, let's just let's, let's backtrack. You did uh, an interview with Boxing Social yesterday. No, Tuesday night. Oh, Tuesday night. Okay. Well, the clip was obviously put out last night and etc. On social media, and uh, I think the tweet back from Florian Marco will say it to my face. So, from that point, track me back through Macaulay McGowan's mind. Well, he said, "Say it to my face." So I said, "What's your room number?" <laughs> and then. Uh, he actually give it, so I was like, well, it's on now then, isn't it? If, if he's give it, and um, so I thought, right, I put my pants on, I was in my bed, I was uh, got, had my pyjamas on, thought I'd better put some pants on and go and see him. That was it. So, because obviously everyone knew what was going on, because it was actually on Twitter for everyone seeing people here in the bubble knew what was going on, because... The room number was tweeted out, so we don't kind of knew where to go. <laughs> where to go? So I was standing there, and obviously Florian was and Sam Jones were in back-to-back rooms, and then suddenly uh, a shadow appeared, as if like almost from the sunset. <laughs> we it was thinking, it, surely that's not McCauley, and it was. It was you. So what? I mean, what? Ask you what your intentions were. Were you just going to say because he said say it to my face, and it was almost honestly, like people are saying it's, it was staged, and it weren't, but. There weren't necessarily any, like... I didn't think it was going to be a kick-off anyway. I thought I was going to go, right, his door will be locked. I thought I'm going to knock on. And I thought, I'm not going to bang too loud, because he could, he could be in bed, he, he could be making weight. And I was actually thinking these things, thinking, it's a bit disrespectful if I turn up and he's trying to get a few pound off. And there's me causing havoc. But then I, I come around the corner and uh, I see him, like, faces peering. And I, and I was thinking, who's, who's looking at me here? Like, where is he? And, and then... Before I know it, like the security guard had already followed me, like come towards me down the thing, and I thought, what do I do? Do I start jumping around the security guard, making a big bloody daft scene, or do I just let the security guard do what he's doing and then try and get a, a, across my point where I was calling him a gobby midget? I think that's, I think that's what he wanted me to say to his face because I called him a gobby midget on the on the on the interview now. So hypothetically, if there wasn't any security there and there was no one there, and you had gone, you would have knocked on the door, what kind of would you expect to have happened at that point? I think you would have uh, invited me in for a cup of tea. We would have locked the door and we would have settled it like uh, two gentlemen who were fighting on Saturday. Uh, no, I, I, think, um, I, think he's from, I think he's got a good background and... Uh, I'm going to say similar background to me, but I think we both got a bit of fight, fighting in us. So I would have knocked on, civilised. I don't think he would have been too civilised. And I think he would have jumped at me, and I think we would have had a bit of a rollabout. But um, I think he said something about locking me in his room and that. And that, I don't think that sounded too good, to be honest. He said something about locking a room and making me scream, and I just thought, that's a bit... Uh, that's <laughs> I thought, I don't know how to take that. Like, I don't swing both ways, so uh, whatever. McCauley, obviously nothing did happen and this is all kind of pie in the sky or whatever, but I think it was a, it was a good thing because obviously you're reading that and you're thinking to yourself, he's not in a different town or a city, we're actually on the same floor. So you're thinking, he said to me face, 
okay, let's see how this goes. But ultimately, for you two to be having a roll around yesterday, probably wouldn't have done any favours come the morning. Yeah, it wouldn't have. It, it's probably probably stupid looking back that we were going to go and have a bloody fight on, on the sixth floor. But um, it is what it is. Um, but but we're, we're fighters, man. Everyone's on top of each other, aren't they? And, like you're on top of your opponent, and like you've got to get comfortable with each other, I suppose, and, and say what you want to say. And he's seen the interview, didn't like it. But the fact of the matter is, he's calling out Conor Bennett, he's calling out Josh Keller, he's calling out all these fighters. I don't know if it's Sam Jones in his Twitter or it's him, but he's he's been told to call out all these fighters. So I thought, well, I'll, I'll fight you, I'll call you out. And, and he didn't seem to take too well to it. So it might have not been thought someone like me would have called him out. He's looking for bigger fights, but he's only had six, seven fights himself, you know. He needs to earn his stripes in boxing first, in, like I say, in boxing. But, yeah, he had a few words with me today. He come over before the weigh-in. Oh, OK. I yeah, no, no. Um, he said something about... Um, I'm, not, I'm not being horrible when I say like sometimes his English isn't the best, but he said something, something about the, the police being involved and we can talk in a quiet car park. <laughs> So I just said, look, mate, um, get your fight over and done with, win, and I'll do the same, and then all the best, and that's kind of all it. Obviously, yeah, let's <coughs> put this into perspective. You're fighting Kieran Conway, he's fighting Jamie Stewart tomorrow night, and you've both got fights to take place tomorrow, and you, you want to obviously win, he wants to win. So, But after that, this little episode via Twitter and, and the sixth floor of the Hilton Hotel has possibly potentially set up a fight between you and Florian Marco, that's the truth of it. Yeah, like, like I say, um, I struggle to get fights around welterweight, so I'm taking these fights at a bigger weight. So there's a, he's a welterweight, there's a better needle between us. Like, he, you know what, right? Everyone's taking a mic, like, he do, he was like, I don't know who this guy is, but he knows who I am now, doesn't he? So he knows who I am now. I think everyone in the hotel knows who you are now, Macaulay. Well, you know, I'm doing something right then, I know I've got to go and perform and win, which is the main thing. Absolutely, yeah. Let's, obviously, I know we've been talking about that, but the main focus for you is Kieran Conway tomorrow night. So, have you got any final words you want to say about that before we finish? Yeah, I'm coming for war, baby. Let's go. That's it. The macho man's coming. The macho man, my God, go. Whoa, yo. If you're wondering why he's a little bit quiet, it's because Sergei Kuzmin's doing a Zoom call over there, and we're, we are trying to be a bit respectful to the fact that there's another interview in there. Yeah, otherwise I'd be shouting the place down, shouting buzz buzz or something like that. Buzz buzz bumblebees. You're a strange fish, it's great. McCauley, thank you very much for talking to IFL TV. Wish you the best luck and we'll grab a word of you after your fight with uh, Kieran Conway tomorrow night. Yeah, of course, uh, after I've won. Yeah, I'll have a good interview. Be, be, en be entertaining then. No problem. Thank you very much. This is something that comes along every now and then in generation, and it's special. Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO, free, impartial advice on all your debt.